So I've been playing a bit with Tamiya's new F-35, and I wanted to show you a couple cool things about it. So I know that the trick weapons bay thing has been covered pretty exhaustively online, but since I'm building it with the bay doors closed, who cares? There's also this big old spar that sits on top, just like that, very easy. But what I haven't really seen mentioned all that much is the way that the forward fuselage connects with the aft fuselage and all that stuff on the bottom side. So basically you have this lower tray for the nose and you've got the intake parts, which are, you know, four parts, halves on each side that just connect up, just taped together like this. And boom, they connect right into the sides there. They lock in very, very good location aids. And as you can see, kind of down here, this sawtooth shape and this just sort of match up. And this thing, I swear to God, is every bit as cool as the F4B's trick tail that you can just drop into place. I mean, look at that. Everything just seats. And then if we want to take it a step further, come in. This is really fun to do one-handed. Yoink! Everything just plops into place. The tail back here, these just kind of slide on. And... You can see, I mean, everything's pretty much where it is, just needs to be positioned and glued. That is fucking sweet. Something else that I really appreciate about the Tamiya kit is when you think about flapperons, you know, the things on the back of the wings, a lot of kits, they give you a choice. You know, you have one flapperon or flap aileron thing, whatever, and you have to go in and you have to basically cut the tabs off, or you have to like pre-select which tabs you're gonna to use to have them positioned open or closed. Well, to me, a kit doesn't make you choose. It gives you one of each for both sides. So completely different upper and lower parts. There's no like having to choose, you know, a single one ahead of time. So the cool thing about that is I can build this whole thing up and then I can think, hmm, I think this might look a bit more dynamic with the flapperons down, or hey, the reference photos are showing the flapperons are always up on this particular country's F-35s. So I should probably stick with that. And all this stuff even extends to the tails, which are the closest thing to set it and forget it I've ever seen. So, holy shit, this is a, uh, this is a very impressive kit from an engineering standpoint. And even though it's gotten a lot of love for that, I don't feel it gets all the love it really deserves. It's really, really well thought out. And I don't know if it's going to be my next build. Uh, I'm still kind of in the afterglow of the... To me, at F4B and finally getting that thing over the line, but I'm definitely tinkering with this and I'm definitely thinking about it. So if you haven't picked one of these up yet, oh my God, do so. Even if you don't really care about the F35 all that much, just from an engineering perspective, it's a thing to behold. And I know that Lionheart Hobby has a good amount of these things in stock. So if you want to help out a local hobby shop, hit them up and Rudy and Danielle will get you sorted. And until part 14 of the F4B series comes out, catch y'all later.